What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Dark Souls Remastered video here for you guys on the channel. So this one is going to be a little different, uh, mainly because we're going to be finally going over to the DLC areas of Dark Souls Remastered. Of course, there is like this little weird cork thing that you have to do. It's kind of weird to get to, but we're going to be doing all that right here in this video on top of that. We are also going to be potentially fighting the first boss, depending on how long everything takes. But I'm pretty sure we'll be able to uh, fit everything in, in just this one video, no problem whatsoever. So if you're excited for this video, do me a huge, huge favor. Drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, enough yapping from me. Let's go ahead and get to the DLC areas. Alright, so first things first. We actually have to go... Kill the, um, what is it called? Uh, the, uh, the Hydra. Over there in the, uh, Dark Root Garden, or whatever it's called. Uh, we have done it on the channel before, but the problem is, I don't know if you guys remember, but, uh, we essentially ended up getting screwed. Uh, because I ended up getting hacked, right? So when I got hacked, uh, I ended up starting a new character. So this isn't the same character that I started off originally. That was an accident. So there is that. I had to start over. And I don't really remember what parts of, of the game I've done already. So I don't remember if we've actually taken him out or not. But if we have, then we have. If we haven't, then we're definitely going to take him out. No problem right here, right now. Well, shortly, I should say, because it is a little bit of a, of a, you know, of a hus, of a run there. We're almost there, though. So, if, if we've already taken this guy out, uh, then we have to go to the, uh, the book place. Oh, uh, I forgot what it's called, man. Where we fought Seath, the... What is it called? I can't remember what it's called, man. It's the, the the Grand Archives, I believe is what it's called. So in that place, there is uh, an individual, basically, that is like one of those crystal guys. And you he get, uh, if you kill him, he gives you like this talisman thing. So there's that. So I guess we're going to find out right now if we've already taken this thing out or not. Um, yes, it looks like we've already taken him out before, so that's good. So now let's go ahead and, and take out the, uh, that one crystal monster guy over at the Duke's Archives then. It shouldn't be too hard to get there. I think we have to go further down. I gotta be careful though because any step around here could be my end. But there's a bonfire right here where we fought the Black Knight a long time ago. Alright, right here and then we'll just fast travel or warp, excuse me, from here. This is the bonfire that we used to fight, um, what's his name? Four Kings. Uh, so warp, now we have to go to... We'll go to Ann Orlando. I think it's probably the fastest way to get there. I believe. I'm pretty sure if we go there. Because it's towards the beginning, if I remember correctly. I totally forgot that this that uh, we ended up killing the girl. And now it's all dark in here. I definitely prefer Ann Orlando in the daytime. It just looks so much nicer. That thing is a uh, mimic, by the way. So the DLC bosses, just so you guys know, is, in my opinion, significantly harder than any boss, with the exception of probably Ornstein and Smo. but uh, the DLC bosses just as a whole completely are just so much harder 
uh, than any bosses in base game, basically. I found this game, if I could be completely honest, I found this game kind of easy. But the DLC areas, again, I'm going to say it again, dude. The DLC areas are pretty freaking hard in comparison. Alright, let's go ahead and rest here. Just in case. Should be literally on the other side of this elevator, if I remember correctly. Any day now. There he goes. Bingo. Pretty sure it's right here. There's gonna be like little crystal warrior guys around here that are gonna want to try to get down with me but of course I'm gonna absolutely demolish them what's up bro see that crystal thing right there that's what I'm talking about no these things hit really hard by the way Die! Ow. Alright, let's go ahead and take one of these. There's another guy over here, of course. We've already been through here once, so... There's no surprise here. Alright. Well, now let's take out this archer guy so we can focus on homeboy. No! No! Be nice to me, damn it. Let's go. Alright, that works. Now let's kill homeboy so we can get that one thing. Watch me already have it. Woo, that was a close one. You're dead. Wait, do I already have it? I think I already have it. And if that's the case, I feel dumb for not uh, checking first. Hold on, let's check real quick. Um, So it's not there. It's not going to be here. It's probably going to be here. Um... A pendant, I believe. Uh, I don't know where it could be, though. Rings? Honestly, I'm not entirely sure. Here, hold on. Let's go down. We'll we'll, we'll go down just in case we have to come back. There's a good chance where we have to come back. I don't really remember how to do this, to be honest. I did it a few times already, but... I don't remember how to get there. Do we have to... There's a... It's possible that we might have to go kill that one gold... Uh, crystal golem thing? Um, is there a closer... I don't think there is. So let's go to the Undead Parish and make that run again. Kind of sucks, but it is what it is. We should have more than enough time anyways. Alright, let's go. We're going to literally huff it as fast as possible. Design-wise, the... Like, artistically speaking... The first boss uh, uh, in the DLC area, his name is like uh, Sanctuary Guardian. He is probably one of the coolest designs in the game, in my opinion. I think it's mainly because I'm a big fan of lions. So, that's probably it, man. It's probably just a bias that I have. Uh, and I do have a lion tattoo on my right hand. I have a wolf tattoo on my left hand too. That's probably a reason why I like Sif so much too. <laughs> oh well. Alright, let's go. 
Luckily, we're almost there. And there's like no enemies anywhere in sight too, so we're good. We're golden, baby. Uh, let's go down here. I'm not even gonna do anything. I'm just gonna run straight there. Maybe I should. For now, I'm gonna put on the what there uh, this one, only because it'll help me run through the water. These guys are really easy, but the other guy, the golden guy, is he's not hard. But, uh, he hits hard. Well, let's find out if he's here. Or if I've already killed him. I don't remember. One way to find out, I suppose, right? Let's go. The way we'll know is if there's a purple fog thing at the end. Oh, wait, there's the crystal guy. So I think we have to kill this crystal guy and then go to Anorlo or to the Grand Archives. What's up, homeboy? What's up? Oh, I thought that was that was easy. So, tis thou who rescues me, most gracious. I am deeply obliged. I am Dusk of Ulysses. I come up from an age long before thine. I cannot stay here for long. So, before I disappear, allow me to ask one thing. My home, Ulysseal, is the home of ancient sorceries. My hope is to pass this profound knowledge to thee with thine approval. Would this be of assistance to thee? Yeah, of course. My heartfelt thanks. I am pleased beyond words. Then I shout, engrave my signature. Thou art in need. Pray summon me from my signature. Seems that my time is done. May the great flames guide thee. See you later. So, I want to show you guys this really quick though. Before we go back. We're going to have to come back here one more time by the way. But uh, obviously just to actually start the DLC. But first things first, I want to show you guys what happens if you basically say yes and uh, uh, and decide to help her. She is actually summonable right over here. Man, this waterfall is really loud. You can actually see the sign right there. She is summonable. Here, let me let me kill homeboy. I can hear another one. What's up, homeboy? Too easy. Is that all of them? I think those guys want to fight too, but so and we don't need to be human. I don't think. I mean, maybe, but I think we can summon her no matter what. And in her inventory. I'm yes, we know. In her... Let me kill these guys. No! Aw, oh, man. Alright. Let's restart this. Ow. That was almost a disaster. In her inventory, too, she sells, like, a, uh, some miracles, I believe. Uh, purchase items. Yeah, we got some miracles here. Or some magic. Whatever. We can literally buy any of this if we want. Oh, and then she also sells the Ulasil. Ula I don't know why I had such a hard time saying that. The, uh, Ivory Catalyst for all you magic users. Alright. Well... Let's go ahead and it's just so that we can speed this up a little bit. Whoops. <laughs> but, uh, let's uh, warp back to the nearest bonfire so that we can fast travel or warp all the way to the uh, Grand Archives again. And then we'll make this easy. 
Unfortunately, though, all the little crystal warrior guys are going to be respawned. So we're going to have to kill, kill them all again. Come on. Nice try. Oh, shit. And dead. This guy's dead. Ow. Oh. That was a close one. Alright, let's kill all of these guys real quick. See you later, alligator. Alright. Woo, that was a close one. Alright, let's bait this guy to come over here. Oh, snap. I don't want to get hit by these guys because they hit really hard. Everyone in this area does. Let's go. All right, now we should get the cat. There we go, the broken pendant. There we go. Now let's go fast travel back to the water place where we fought that golden golem. And we can finally start the DLC. I mean, I think technically we already started it, but we'll go to the DLC area. How about that? All right, warp, undead parish. And then just like that, we are going to be on our way. So bear with me, guys. This is literally going to be the last time that we do this run. So through, uh... The Undead Parish and through the uh, the Dark Root Garden area. Because now we're literally good to go. We're literally on our way to the DLC area right now. Let's go. What's up, homeboy? Sit your ass down. Nothing for me? You SOB. Dark Root Garden. And I think down here is called the Dark Root Basin, right? Some of these areas kind of scare me because they're they're so narrow. And sometimes my controller likes to act stupid and it just randomly jumps even though I'm holding the B button. I don't know. I've thought about playing this game on uh, keyboard and mouse because I am playing this on PC, but... Even though this game, like, acts funny sometimes with the controller, I still feel like it's still superior playing this game on a controller rather than, you know, on a keyboard and mouse. Obviously, playing it on PC, I've played this on Xbox, and I've played this now on PlayStation as well. And long story short, I still feel like it's so much superior playing this on PC. So... That's my opinion. But let me know down in the comments down below where you guys prefer to play Dark Souls Remastered. We're good though, man. We're ready to get out of here. Let's refresh our stuff. And then... Are we getting chased? Nope. Good. Alright, we should have enough stamina to make it all the way there. Yeah, see that purple thing? That's the DLC area. And remember that girl, Uosil? Dusk of Uosil? Uosil is the name of the place that we're going to, but Dusk of Uosil is the girl that we spoke to that was inside that thing. Well, check this out. Oh, snap. She's dead. Let's go. Oh, snap. Yep, that's the final boss of the DLC area. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, do this. 14, so I need... I'm already human, right? So I need 3. This is obviously just in case I die. Which... I will say it's definitely, definitely, 
definitely possible. Like I said, DLC bosses, in my opinion, are superior in difficulty than any boss, with the exception of probably Ornstein and Smo. They're so much harder, man. So much harder. And I think it largely has to do with the fact that they're so much faster and reckless and unpredictable. Kind of. Alright, let's do this. Wait, before I do this, I need to make sure my weapons and armor is fixed. What am I doing? Alright, uh, repair equipment. Yeah, I didn't really need it. And my armor definitely didn't need it. Oh well, who cares? Let's go. Rather be safe than sorry. I hope you guys are ready for this. What does this say anyways? Be wary of tail. Close range battle. Alright, so the thing the thing that says uh uh be wary of tails because you're almost guaranteed to get poisoned if you get hit by the tail. But if you cut off the tail, you get a a really cool whip. Look at him. He is so badass. Ow. Alright, I gotta heal real quick. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Oh god, that was close. Alright. Woo! He is intense. Let's go. Alright, let's get our stamina back. I gotta heal for sure. Oh, I still got hit by the electricity. Ow. No. Heal. Oh, I hate how he backs up so fast. What's up, homeboy? Ow. Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, come on. I messed that up so bad. Get back. Oh, so close. Alright, let's go ahead and just top off our health. Let's go! Aw, oh, man. Oh, I should have hit him right there. Big hit! Let's go! Nice try there, buddy. Oh no, here it goes again. I fell for that one. <laughs> nice nice woohoo we did it we did it we did it that's enough of that I always get confused right here though which way is I think I came from that way or was it that way um I think I think I came from that way I always get so confused man I don't know what the hell to do here Woo! he literally looks like he's pulling his pork while running that's talent right there let's go and just like that we're already at another bonfire let's go ahead and do this one we need three again I think we have enough uh, to light all the bonfires. I want to say there's like four here. I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure there's like four here. I don't know. All I know is that I want to literally get them all to 20. 
and done. You know what? Can I upgrade my armor? Because I really like this armor, like, a lot. I'm just going to do this for now. Alright. And I'll do the helmet, I suppose. Actually, I'll do the pants. Wait, I can still do more. Um. Alright, we'll do the helmet. No, we'll do the... We'll do this. Fuck it. Why not? And the good thing now is that I have plenty of soul still. Well, look at this one. From what far away age hast thou come? Thy scent is very human indeed, but not intolerable. Ah, Princess Dusk's savior. Yep. Thine aura is precisely as she described. I thank thee deeply for rescuing her highness, but Princess Dusk is here no longer. Aww. Snatched away by that horrifying primeval human. And so I must ask, couldst thou once more play the savior? Yeah, of course. She was a sweetheart to me, of course I'm gonna save her. Thank you. I am Elizabeth, guardian of this sanctuary. Something of a godmother to Princess Dusk. I shall assist thee to my utmost, for I am one with the sorceries of Ulysseel. What do you have for sale? Um, gold pie and resin. How many can I buy? Five? Don't mind if I do. And I think he, I think she sells all the same spells as Ulysseel, uh, as Dusk. So none of that is important. All right, let's go ahead and repair our equipment. Uh, repair. Not that I need to. Nice. Well, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. We managed to take out the Sanctuary Guardian first try, really with no problems whatsoever, so that's pretty amazing, if you ask me. If you enjoyed this video, though, do me a huge, huge favor drop a like on this video also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow so with that being said catch you guys in the next one deuces